hear ye, hear ye. Hello and welcome to Last Week, Right Now, with me, Mick Riggers. We're going to be giving you an in-depth look of last week's news. It was International Working Women's Day last Thursday, which saw, as always, companies shamelessly attempting to profit from a meaningless gesture, rather than, I don't know, extend workplace rights for women? MP for the Scottish Nationalist Party, Myra Black, used the occasion to confront the House of Commons with the regular abuse she receives online and offline in all its gory detail whilst MP for the Conservative Party, Boris Johnson, used the occasion to tell six-year-olds how Cleopatra committed suicide in all its gory detail. Britain First Leader Paul Golding and Deputy Leader Jada Franson were convicted last week for religiously aggravated harassment. The pair used these stunts as a tool of self-promotion in a sort of backwards campaign. Only a dozen or so protesters turned up at the courts to show support for their leaders. The sleepy town of Salisbury became a front line in the new Cold War as a former Russian spy and his daughter were found poisoned in the town shopping centre. The authorities left it a week before informing people present at the time to wash their clothes in case of contamination from the nerve agent. Putin casually brushed it off with some anti-Semitism. Chinese President Xi has secured his position for unlimited terms, which has undone safeguards that were instated after Chairman Mao's death. The new laws allow Xi the presidency for life. Kim Jong-un continues to outmaneuver President Trump in a PR war that's proving far more enjoyable than the nuclear option by inviting the first US president ever to diplomatic talks. President Trump continues to outmaneuver himself by immediately accepting the invitation without consultation, leaving his team flabbergasted. Former Breitbart editor and founder Steve Bannon had a trip to France to actively and directly promote racism. He said, let them call you racists, xenophobes or whatever else, wear these like a medal. I don't think they give out medals for being an idiot though, do they? As European fascism rears its ugly head once again. Thank you for listening. I've been Mick Riggers, and that was last week, right now. We'll be back again next week. Uh, Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, right here, right now, we'll be back at the end of the month.